What's up ladies and gentlemen, Stefan here for NETV today to cover Warframe which is now on the dashboard for $1 per conversion. So what we'll be covering today is the basics, the Warframe and the enemy variety. I'll see you in a moment and we'll get into it. So what is Warframe? Warframe is a game about sci-fi space ninjas known as the Tenno which you play one of. It's a PvE game which is a first person sort of fast paced action shooter slash slasher. You, you can do a bit of everything, there's a bit of sort of techno magic, sword play, all sorts of cool stuff. So. The basic objective is to travel throughout the galaxy kicking the ass of the Grenier and the Corpus and taking back the tech that is yours. As you level up your Warframe you unlock new abilities and it's sort of like a card system where you have to select cards within your power rating so each card has a power rating assigned to it. So for instance you might have a freeze which has a power rating 3 and a push which has a power rating 2 and your frame can only handle 5 power load then you would only be able to play them cards within your frame's abilities which is pretty cool. As you level up you unlock new abilities, new weapons, your levels weapon with you, your, your weapons level with you and you can select abilities for those weapons. Uh, there's a hell of a lot of maps and when I say a hell of a lot I mean ridiculous amounts of maps. So let's get on to the next part which is the frames themselves. So there's a lot of different types of frames, there's over 16 different warframes varying in what they can do. So you've got your rhinos which are your big stumpy front line and then you've got stuff like the stealthier mechs that can hide, they can jump really far, all that sort of cool stuff. So each frame is unique in its own way. And as I say, they unlock powers as they level, and each frame has sort of unique powers compared to the others and has um, certain things it can do better than the others. So now on to enemy types. We have the Grenier, which are massive in number, there's thousands of them. Um, they seize control through of the earth just through sheer numbers, there's that many of them. Um, the Grenier army is slowly decaying because essentially they're all clones. They, they clone themselves at such a high rate it deteriorates the DNA is the whole storyline. So that is the Grenier. Within the Grenier there is a ton of different types of enemy from little melee guys with swords to big scary girls with swords and the girls when I say big and scary they're big and scary. There's also your yeah, big sort of stompy marines and infiltrators. There's all sorts of enemy variety within there. And then we have the Corpus, which are a proto-corporation of humans, and their basic thing is they operate trade routes, they're, they're rarely seen and better known for robots that serve them. Um, the basic structure of the Corpus reflects sort of ancient guilds of old earth, is the whole storyline. and. They're hell-bent on getting hold of any technology they can that will make money, so they are typical businessmen. <laughs> and then we have um, sort of subsets of enemies which aren't really factions, such as like we've got hellbugs and stuff like that, which we also fight against, which is pretty cool. And as you'll see in the videos behind it, there's a hell of a lot of enemy variety, map variety, and playstyle variety. So let's round it out. If you're into games where the action is super fast paced, you play a space ninja. I mean, who doesn't like space ninjas? Um, it's got a mix of melee play, um, ranged gunplay, and sort of techno magical play, then this is the game for you. You run through, slice up loads of shit and buy loads of stuff, I mean literally hundreds of enemies per level, you work in squads of four people in a purely PvE environment and I've got to say this is one of them games where the community is absolutely amazing, if you've got any questions you always get an answer and there is a lot of very very deep game systems we haven't covered in this such as crafting systems, uh, sidekick systems where you get a little sidekick robot that helps you um, all sorts of stuff that I'm not going to cover in this video because I mean it's a free to play game jump in it, try it, see what you think it doesn't cost you a penny so I've been Steph for NETV if you want to make yourself a dollar per conversion for Warframe sign up for a dashboard.tm account also if you want to play Warframe there will be a link in the description as always and I will see you next time